Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Red and Red. Now, I was having some problems with my smelter. Let's go and have a look. I fixed it. And the really the only thing I did was to put an energy conduit between the energy cell and the pump. And of course it's not using very much power. This has been running for a, quite a while now. And it's been pulling lava straight into this seared glass window. It could be a glass window or a glass tank, doesn't make any difference. And it's then been processing this, it's now empty. What I've been doing is I've been getting some iron. Let's go and get some more ore. I've got plenty of it, I reckon. Oh, 64 anyway. What have we got in here? Yes, yeah, plenty of ore. Let's take these. And then we can go and put these into this hopper here. Uh, that's why I put the controller on the corner. You see a lot of people put it in the middle, but and the corner's good. Because then it allows you to put a hopper. The hopper automatically fills up this. And on this side here, I've got a, a casting basin and a redstone clock. A redstone clock and ticks, and as soon as something melts, it goes into the casting basin. Well, that would be great, except for one thing. Underneath the casting basin, I have a hopper. And in this hopper, I've now got 52 blocks of iron. And I'll just let that carry on. And the idea is, I want to show you something that basically I didn't know before, so it's something new to me. Let's go to this. Now, what we need to do now is to make um, some cells, some empty sockets. Just to make six empty sockets, which is enough for what I want. And I'm going to put now to fill these sockets. Let's have a look. Let's look at the usage of those. Probably tells me I need thirty thousand LP in a tier three altar. Well, that's got that. We've got thirty thousand over here. In this altar. Not sure how fast they fill up. I think it's fairly fast. This altar probably has got in it now. I don't know, there's demonic slates. This one is full. So it's uh, certainly process one of these. Let's turn that on and see how fast that goes down. That goes down reasonably fast. Let's go and do the other one, another one over here. Put one of those into this hopper here. Take out the orb. Put the orb back in here again. And that should allow that to fill up fast enough. It's 25,000 in that, but the mobs spawn fairly quickly. Now, if I come back here, there we go, already done. So now we need to um, regain some of that essence, which of course means slaying a few mobs. There's a spider up there, I need to kill the spider, otherwise it won't come down properly. There we go. There he is, I can see him. It seems to actually be quite good at attacking the mobs. It's, uh, I mean the spiders. That's the only one in there. Let's have a look how much we've got in this altar now. Have we got enough for the next one? I forgot to turn that off, of course. So I picked up all the junk in the altar and I can't get rid of that. Let's come over here, click onto this and get rid of the stuff that we really don't need in on ourselves. Bones. Actually, I can mix that arrow with that one. For some reason they don't seem to consolidate if you see what I mean and in the altar we now have 31,000 and we need 30,000 that's good so we can put in another empty socket in here take the blood out and turn it on again oh no probably already turned on what I need to do is to get rid of whatever's in here right, gunpowder there we go now I can turn it off and we can get rid of these two in here as well. 
And uh, of course, get the rest of this blood. What I'm trying to do is to get my XP up as well. Because what I want to do is activate the sigil. And you'll see over here I've been prepared this, it's just a little base. Ready, ready for the sigil to work. But this will all turn into cursed earth. And what I need is a silk touch shovel, I think. Probably a silk touch, anything will do, but it'll be quickest with a shovel. So here I have a book already prepared, and because I've got the monocle on, you'll see this is a silk touch and an efficiency 5 book, and it requires 60 levels of XP in order to be able to copy this. I've still got another chase, and I need to make some more chases too. And another zombie pigman decided to come visit. I can't get out because there's a fence around it. Um, so that's what the intention is there. So I'm just grinding these mobs as much as I can so I get enough XP to do that. Until that happens, I'm not going to complete that stage. But I am hungry, as usual. So now, I'd also like to... When I finished eating, that is. Excuse me. Is to see if I can do this lengthening catalyst again. <laughs> Very clever I was. So we need to make an average. We've done. I think we've already done the mundane lengthening catalyst. So we need an average lengthening catalyst. We need a standard binding agent. So that's what we need for that. So Sanctus Crystallis and a weak binding agent. So we'll try. Oh, I'll put them all in. I can't give me more than four anyway. So that'll now produce four standard binding agents. Two. Oh, good. So now when I combine those two, I think it's like this, with these we should now get an averaging lengthening catalyst there we go we should get two of those it must be I can't count so I'll put this stuff away that we don't need and I think this is the flight one minute potion so ooh, I probably need to do the first level first let's do this one Actually, I've already done that. I think I've still got one of those. No, I haven't. Let's do that again. Three redstone, one weak binding agent, and one simple catalyst. Okay. Have I got any of those with me there? Well, let's do those. Simple catalyst I will have plenty of, and redstone I have plenty of. Redstone should be in here. We needed three, didn't we? So we needed 12 at least for that four. And in here I've been making some of these. So I've got 53. Take those out. In fact... If we just make one, we should be able to make more. Um, we could do that in here actually. No reason not to. I mean, maybe there is. Can't get everything out, possibly. So what did we need? This one. So three redstone, one weak agent. Okay. Three redstone. One. What's happening to those? Ah, let's get rid of this thing for a start. Don't know where they went to. We put one of these back into here. We need that sometimes as a sort of prototype. Take that out of there. Oh, you three red sun, didn't I? One of these and one of these should make mundane lengthening catalyst. There we go. So now I can put this into the hopper here. Into the alter and put into there the other ingredients 
what happens is it will take them all out a bit daft really because it's only going to be able to do as many weak binding agents as I've got two was it four I can't remember when that's completed we should have in here four mundane lengthening catalysts all right let's take this one out of here as well if I've got space in my inventory which I just about have now put one of those back in there and let's get the stuff out of here as well I don't think we need any of that now I'll put this back into this chest maybe I do need some of these so we'll check out take half of them out leave those in there so now we've got this weak mundane lengthening catalyst what I should be able to do is take one of these swigs here a feather which should be in there but aren't at the moment where did I put the feathers they aren't in there either double check that I must have left them back over here let's go and get one of these I got 12 now that's fine take four out Still a lot of stuff in the way, got to walk past it all. Right, one feather. And then a mundane lengthening catalyst. Should give me a one minute, should give me a two and a half minute. This is right. Now, if I take one of these averaging lengthening catalysts and a feather. It should give me an, about eight minutes, I think yes seven minutes so the next stage of course would then be give the next one up which is this one so for that we need some aqualus which is made from ink sacs and lots of buckets of water glasses of water which is pretty straightforward Let's have a, but I might have already made one of those but I don't see it didn't put it in here by any chance did I no okay so we need three bottles of water that's fairly straightforward we need three glass and I think it's the v-shape for bottles I want to get those filled up with water which is going to be a bit difficult in our current inventory situation here let's just uh, put some stuff away this is a blood magic chest let's remove these need those with me at the moment gunpowder I don't need with me feathers we'll leave in here I'll leave the gunpowder in here for the time being let's sort that out right we've got enough space now put three bottles of buckets of water there we go we can just take that out of this bottle tank so it was three buckets of water what else do we need one ink sack and one simple catalyst right we've got simple catalyst but ink sack I thought I had over here as well so we'll have to go and get some ink sacks in fact yes there's plenty of ink sacks down there let's go and get one my sword activated no oh, let's turn on this one and go down grab a few ink sacks where has he gone to and is that the only squid there at the moment yes Ooh. be careful they don't land on that it can be fatal right turn that off we've got, oh, only got one ink sack that's a bit of a surprise and one catalyst 
Now we need two of those. I only made one. I need two. Well, I made three really. Right. So let's go back to the recipe for that. Well, it's just those two. Have I got a simple binding agent in this chest? Yes, good. Yes, there it is. So we needed one of those. One of those and the Aquilus here. And then we have the greater is it called the greater? Yeah, the greater lengthening catalyst. So now what we need to do now is exactly the same as we've done before, I hope. Well no feathers out. Let's get the feather out of here. So we need to take I think it's all we have to do is to take the one with the seven minutes in it. And the feather. And the greater lengthening catalyst. And keep our fingers crossed that we will get a flight potion for about seventeen minutes. Ah, there you go. Nearly 90 minutes. Perfect. So now with one of the swigs, we'll get a 17 minutes creative flight. Now, I ain't going to use that because I don't need to. But that was really just for demonstrations. I don't need that one. I don't need the glowstone. There's anything else we don't need the catalysts. Right, okay, good. I've got a sword on me, I don't need that either. Steel sword. Now this one was full and this one over here will be full. Let's just go and get another two done. it'll already be full that thing so let's take that out put that into that socket put one of those in there take this one out of here try again that will fill up now there's not enough blood in here at the moment let's just take this out of here but we soon will be let's get this again I want that in position one Oops, try again. And the pearls. It's got a few little baby zombies there, by the looks like. Now let's check this altar. enough but enough for what we need for the time being so let's put one of these into here and take the other one out of here which I probably could have done better and let's grind a few more mobs make sure the blood's up to oh of course I've forgotten to do something while I've been doing this and that is check my quest book and I've got one open quest, so let's open this quest. Of course it's the, it's the usual one. Not chapel, then reward. Let's have a look what we get in that bag. Ah, super. One natch and four gold apples. So I've only got 34 levels of XP at the moment, so it doesn't, it's not quite ready. I didn't turn on, did I? Let's get rid of this junk. And have I got my... Oh yes, I do have my signal on, that's a problem. Anything else in there? That belongs to mobs. These boots, probably. Right, I got my dot. I don't want the end of pearl with me either. Let's dump the copper. Oh, because we really don't need those. Let's 
let's just turn this boy off here because it's been a bit of a nuisance. And we'll get the last. So this one's now filled up. Let's just put the empty one in here and take the full one out. So what I want to do was to show you how to upgrade the armor. So let's go to my, f I think it's in, not in there, it must be in one of these, probably this one. No, it's a blood magic thing, it should be in this chest, the soul armor forge. So I've now got three, actually I've got four filled sockets. I want five for a helmet, so this should be, the fifth one should be in here. Right, so what I want to do is this. I'm going to take out one of my, ah, so I've got them already here, an angel block. Let's just put the angel block down on top of it, put the soul forge on top of that, take the angel block away, and now what we can do is we can put the fill sockets around here. Uh, maybe it would have been easier to leave the, let's put it back again. No, wrong place. Actually, therefore I don't need this. Let's get this out of the way. No, no, I guess it will. Now, let's put the armor forge in the middle. Here. And what I want to do with this helmet is to give myself fire resistance. I think that's the one I want. What I need is one lava sigil, one master blood orb and one weak blood shard. I was actually going to make boots and do so and do the air sigil. Maybe that's more sensible. Let's do that. Yes. Boots, of course, is in this recipe. I think that's boots. I think this goes. Maybe it needs to go at the top. Oh, I suppose it would make much difference. The upside, it could go upside down, couldn't they? Let's put that one there. Now, I'm going to not do that. I'm going to remove this one as well. And I'm going to put this back again because I'm being a chicken. I don't want to right click it. That's what I'm. Let's try again. Boots. Right. That's the boots recipe, I think. Take away that, take away that. You see, they come back straight away, even though they didn't look like they were. And this time we're going to put a shard on those, a blood shard. And that should just simply disappear. We're also going to put onto there a master blood orb. Like that, I think. And the third thing we're going to put into here is an air sigil. And then we're going to right click the middle. Don't have to right click it with an activation crystal, oh, I've forgotten. I just thought it was just a bare hand actually. Um, I'll tell you what, we've got them both. I've got a uh, apprentice, I'll take the magician's blood orb and I'll take the activation crystal because I've forgotten which one it is. Nope, not that one. Oh. That's strange. I'm sure I have to just simply right click this thing. Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe I need to put this at the bottom.
There we go. That was strange. Now when I look at this one, here I've got in slot 0 a Master Blood Orb, in slot 1 a Weak Blood Shard, and in slot 2 an Air Sigil. And then what that does, it gives you full protection. So, let's give it a test. Alright, not too high, let's just turn off the jetpack. Yes, that's better. Try again. That's probably a bit more dangerous. Turn off the jetpack. So they have it. Air protected boots, so I don't have any more fall damage problems. And the other thing I was going to do next with that is to do the helmet and then put lava signal on that one. Well, the same process, and this would then give me fire protection, which is also quite nice. It uses X, uses um, LP from the network every time it uses it, but at the moment we don't have such a problem with LP. Let's go and make sure that we don't by getting out of here the other filled socket. Try again. Unfortunately with the vacuum hopper being so near, I tend to click that. Instead of doing the one I want to click. So, so now we have two successes today. Or maybe even th three. In fact, what did I want to do? I want to do that's my own helmet. So basically, I just need to get the the XP for the uh, from the mobs, which I will do in my own time, and come back again. When if, oh, that's no so nice when the rain stops. There is another sickle I could also make, and that's the sickle of affinity, and it's a very similar sickle. It basically, let's have a look. Elementary infinite no, signal of holding. I don't like that one. It basically makes signal fast minded. That's no use for us. So that's the one that gives you night vision, I think. Imputed slates. We could do that. Glowstone blocks. That's no big deal. Let's go and do that. Let's see if that works. Plenty of glowstone these days, I think. And if it's not in here, and we're going to get it from the, I'll get it from over here. Get through that, of course, I can't. Oh, don't have any in there neither. Okay, let's make some more quickly. It's this one. I've got 38, that's no problem. I should have plenty of gold in here. Let's take 55 out of there. Let's shift that into there and put the glowstone recipe on the top there. And I'll get 38 glowstone. I need 16. Take those anyway. For blocks. So glowstone blocks. Uh, I did four, didn't I? Let's do it like that. And I'll click that. And you get them back again. So I've got four of those. One torch. Three embedded slates, wasn't it? I think that's what it was. What a relatively expensive recipe. So we'll be making those in the background. Making plenty of slates and one torch. So it was this one. Magician Blood Orb I need. Which I just happened to have unconsciously got something right for a change. And one torch I should have here. So I guess this will give us night vision. It's difficult to say. I think of a test on that one. Ooh. That's not doing what I expected to do. Hmm. Okay. I'm sure it does. The other one was this one. It's a yellowish one this one and this one gives you an air signal a water signal and a lava signal and it will end up giving you this elementary affinity and it protects you from fire and water and a full damage as well but since I've got the boots I'm not going to do that and I've also got lava on my head so 
I will have it's prepared and that'll do the same thing we just needed another what did I do five filled sockets to do that and we have at the moment two so I'll make some more filled sockets in the meantime until next time I hope you enjoyed this episode bye for now